now let's look at another important uh, functionality I can say or the option that we can try in uh, SDSF is filter okay so how do we uh, filter use the filter options here so filter uh, if you want to see what are the jobs which are abandoned uh, then we can use the filter option or if you want to see all the what are the jobs which uh, ran good with the condition code as zero or if there are any jobs which ran with an error what are the jobs which has uh, ran with the priority one okay so without wasting any time let me connect to the mainframe and see how it works now I'm here into the uh, spool SDSF so let me try the filter options I wanted to see the jobs which are uh, in DCL error so here you see different jobs submitted right so I wanted to just focus on the jobs I wanted to list it jobs which are in DCL error so just type filter and give a max keyword and then uh, type JCL error okay and you need to give a space here okay now you can see only those specific jobs which are with JCL error will be listed okay let me try it in different way filter where the maximum condition code uh, was zeros okay now you can see there is only one job which was ran with the maximum condition code as zero let me try it in another way filter and now I'll apply a filter on which column priority okay priority uh, is a there are no priorities with a uh, one now you can see the priority with one jobs has been listed here let me try it in another way filter for class the class a okay C uh, with a now you can see with all the classes of a has been listed what are the jobs which was submitted under class a has been listed here so like this you can apply a filter on any of this uh, specific columns that are listed so that it will help you uh, uh, to analyze the GCLs or especially when you have lots of jobs which are running and if you want to bring them back or just do a filter option so just you can uh, place a filter I mean this you can play around with this what I did first type the filter name and select the column that you want and then you can just play around or if I say like job name let me try with the job ID let's uh, try that so let's say uh, job star okay so it will list all the things right okay um, or you can also play with the job name which starts with some uh, uh, XYZ or ABC so that way you can do it another thing uh, after filters um, we will uh, talk about sort okay let me talk about sort sort what will do sort uh, sort job ID if you say a it will start in ascending order now you can see the order right so it uh, ascending order it has been started if you say sort uh, job ID uh, based on what is that let's say descending so now you can see it has been started in the descending order let's say sort uh, priority ascending order now you can see you can sort for any of the uh, fields that you have sort um, let's say class ascending now you can see you can apply the same thing for this so what we have learned here so we have learned one thing about the filter options another is about the sorting so I assure you these two commands uh, will really help you a lot in real time right so we end up with many uh, GCL errors a lot of debugging will be done we, the things will get messed up so when you practice these filter commands or sort commands or whatever the commands that I'm explaining here that will really uh, helps a lot in your project work okay I hope so these uh, with this I'll be ending all the, uh, the chapter of SDSF so I hope you have really enjoyed this new chapter uh, I'm looking forward for other tutorials thank you and congratulations on comp successfully completing this chapter I hope you'll be practicing and you'll be practicing a lot and you will remember all this and you'll implement the same in your work life thank you again